a warlock on the floor. Yeah. See if he's right. I just that's like a that's a do nothing kind of kind of warlock. Who's who's your ideal four here, gods? I think the Night Stalker is mine. I I think putting um, him in that support role is I, not as bad as people think. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe the uh, I want to say like the jug is probably the most natural four, but you need the jug to be farming this game. Oh I feel my. like the jug and has secret. To be now they take the great, great aggressive support here. Yeah. Lion, very good against the puck. Yeah. Blink initiation, the huge bursty finger. They've got some pushing power with the Brood and Shen. Another very well-rounded draft from Secret. So Go Black Warlock is going to be the play here. So he's going to be that full position. Well, he's not even... He, this is like a five position Warlock, essentially. Our stats man knew. He's, he's giving well, me the... Uh, the, the gesture of, I was right, and you were wrong, son. <laughs> oh, well, I, I, I wasn't... I was saying it's going to be a do-nothing Warlock. My, my Not, statement yeah. still stands. I think this is going to be a do-nothing Warlock. This yeah. is a game where Warlock is going to struggle. Like, I'm expecting five deaths on Go Black by 15 to 20 minutes, you know? Five, that, see, that would have been the perfect the bet on, in Bruno's Casino. Five deaths on Warlock in 15 minutes. I think somebody mm -hmm. would take that bet. <laughs> Brew just Finally. is going to be having a field day here, I think. The yeah. plan is to try and deal with him so using like a Venge Juggernaut. I mean, the, the thing is, Navi love trying these 2 1 2 sets where they put Go Black in the off lane, dual lane, and he protects Funix, secures Funix farm, whether it's the Abaddon, the uh, Warlock in this case, mm -hmm. a Lich. But if you run a dual lane against your opponent of a Brood, Brood will wreck the top dual lane. Uh, Venge Jug is okay ish, and Venge has already got like the anti Brood kit with the sentries and dust, but it's still a rough lane. It definitely is. You uh, can't actually kill Brood, really. I, Brood's movement speed is just... God, is too Go superior. Black likes Abaddon so much, his effigy is actually Abaddon. I, yeah. I, I don't see Abaddon effigies very often. That is some serious love. My shield Artemis. up on you. My shield up on you. See? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, gosh. Okay, so how are these lanes looking here? You got some good luck, have fun there from Habos. Looks like he's still in love. I like that. Radiant side, we've got Team Secret. It'll be S4 on the Axe and Kuroki on the line. Looks like they're the two slated for the bottom lane. That puts Puppy on the Chen in matter. the Radiant Jungle. Then we've got some cores here. RTZ, he's on the Shadow Fiend with that Arcana. And off lane, it will be Zai on the Brood. Rocking some Brood cosmetics here. The rare Spiderlings. Okay, mm. watch out, gods. Right. She's in style. Well, watch out for her boss. He sure loves his... Slash, slash me. He's on the juggernaut. <laughs> slash me. Looking for that top bounty rune. We'll uh, wait a second for our introduction. His veins are on the bench. Full spirits shortly behind him, but top bounty rune. Looks to be going away the secret. And yep. Our tour. Going to be off to a nice early start with that. So, rest of Na'Vi. Uh, we're going to see. Uh, well, the Venge right. being played by Vengscore. In the mid lane, it's going to be Dendi, of course, playing one of his kind of signature heroes, the Puck. In the off lane, Goblek on the Abaddon, and Funnick going to be playing the Night Stalk, having already taken a bit of damage around that bottom rune kerfuffle. Okay, and initial runes. All right, one to Arteezy and one to Funnick. So pretty even spread out of the gate. Initial wards coming down in the bottom. We'll see uh, an Observer in the other side of the tree line. And in the mid, going right back there, we'll see a nice lane ward for Arteezy. So getting some good vision on Dendi in the mid. Will probably not be caught unaware. Dyer using their second observer for that top rune, so... Getting a little bit of rune control also. Yeah. So, as far as lanes go, SF versus P Puck, this is... I'd say even, like, SF does really well here. Especially already, he's getting off uh, some good souls up. Did go for the level 1 raise, and... I, I, Archer has actually talked about this on his stream, like, why does he do this? And it's always about securing that, like, couple of early CS. You need yeah. to secure that bottle ASAP. Yeah. Get your bottle ASAP. You can make up for your souls with your raises later on. So it's it's kind of, it guarantees you farm. Whereas if you go for the Necromancy and you don't get souls in, like, the first two creep waves, suddenly you, you're really screwed. You can tr try and play catch up using raises later, but mm -hmm. you want to get the bottle as fast as possible. Yeah. And it can also be a big risk as well if they rotate on you before you have that bottle, if you get poked a little bit. It's, it's a bit of an unnecessary risk. Down bottom, go black and fun. And kind of move into the jungle here just to intercept the pull from Kuroki. Looks like Puppy will have a pretty easy time in the jungle out of the gate. Nothing blocking him. Navi did not invade, block any of his camps. So I would expect this Chen to be active perhaps sooner rather than later, depending on what creeps he's able to find. Already clears out a set of mud golems and yeah. very close to level three. Yeah, so the top lane brood doing pretty decently here. Four CS, starting to accumulate a couple of spiderlings. And once you get a, a big spider arm, you've got to be very careful. 
Uh, That's a lot of Brood. money you can feed away there. Yeah. And the other thing is, Brood used to sentry to D ward and then Navi D ward it, like anti sentry to sentry, which <laughs> ends up Navi still the sentry lane, but it's a second sentry being forced out, and that means it's going to expire soon. And then Brood, with two sentries Double down, either Vengs goes to buy more sentries as Avenge. Or Brutus is going to have a, like walk all over this top lane. And he also knows where that second sentry is, which yeah. is really important. Knowing before you get caught off guard is almost as important as killing it, I think. They just have no kill potential. Like, Vainscore going for sentries and dust, but what's the plan to kill a Brute who's got the 413 movement speed already? You get another point or two in web, and you're up to, like, 450 move speed. Like, Juggernaut spin is not... You're not getting kills until Jug's level 6. And I don't know if you can survive this lane till then. Yeah, Zai is doing very well though. 7 CS now, halfway through level 3. This is pretty damn good for the offlaner. Mm, somewhat comparable to that bottom lane. Warlock support, as you mentioned, a little lackluster, and it's not really doing much to secure farm for fun. He's on point with the solo brood right now, which is obviously a victory for Secret. With the Chen in the jungle, you should expect them to have a little gold experience edge, at least in the initial part of this laning yeah. stage. So... I uh, haven't seen the Chen move out of the jungle just yet. Puppy just kind of happy to get his farm and levels early on. And I wonder when we'll see the first smoke rotation from Puppy. He hasn't picked one up yet. It's hard to smoke in mid. Unless Dendi uses it all offensively to try and farm or harass, you're not looking at... I feel like the Warlock is the easy target, though. He's in the off lane. Yeah. Night Stalker can't really do mm -hmm. too Top much lane. to keep him alive. Oh, Zai, he gets dusted, but can they actually chase him down? Doesn't have the movement speed for the webs. The web. The Vost. Dive in here. Zai moves into the trees, looking to fall, going for the jukes, trying to eat a path out of the trees, but Ben is there to intercept. Van score with good footwork. Blocks him in, and Hvost will secure the first blood. Nicely played by Navi. Van score knowing exactly where he wanted to go and stops the retreat. Yeah. Nicely played by Navi, slightly misplayed by Zai as well. Like, didn't have a second weapon. Got caught in a position where I, he could have maybe run upwards and just used it. He had the superior movement speed, so he even dusted up and I think he just outruns the boss, but. Yeah. Um, yeah, didn't have a web to, to hide in. And even when you're dusted, you can still run over the trees. So you can still if fog, you, just, yeah. if you're on your webs, I mean. So despite being revealed, you can still kind of fog um, to some degree. Easy Our triple raise. Oh, mama. <laughs> Walked into that one. And then he will secure the room, but Arteezy happily will take the kill. Yes, yes, he'll, nice. he'll take it. He's going to be careful. Another triple raise. Or double, he only got mana for the double raise, but that may okay, be but enough. There's a hex there from Curl and an earth spike. It's plenty. Now a set of kills in the mid, not quite the double for Artur, but two to one is Secret Strike on back, and all of a sudden Swagger Fiend here looking pretty strong. Yeah, I think the laning stage is going really well for Secret in general. Like the bottom lane, Funnick is getting CS, well not much CS compared to S4, and that's in that two like two v two setup in a lot of ways. And well, here we go. First smoke from Puppy will yeah. come right around the five minute mark. He's got Kuro with him. Where can they go? Venge in the jungle. They don't have vision, so they could roll the dice and just try to venture about, or they could go for the jug. And it looks like they might actually luck into the Venge. Radiant do have an observer ward down there. They see the Venge on the way, but they don't care. They're going right for Havost. Blade Fury away, and they will actually dive it? Nope. No. Okay. They double back after the shockwave yeah. flies. Kuro's trying to come around from the tree lines to get the insta hex off, but just couldn't quite get in range before the spin, so. Yep. Luckily for Navi, they don't give up that kill. If Avos dies there, that they lose a lot of control over this top lane. The one lane which is going decently well for them. There's still a level 5 Brew, who has his Soaring Bass. He can still do a lot of damage here, so... Still not easy for them. And this big Spidling army right now is possibly just a straight-up dead Venge. Venge does have boots, but I don't really see a way out. Yeah, just not without TPs. Poke. More spiders coming through. The Chen creeps as well. Puppy will eat the stun. Can Puppy actually live here though? Dust comes out. They get the kill on Venge. Puppy taking a lot of damage, but Havost falls first. Puppy with just a handful of hit points to spare. Oh, around. Funny is dead as well. Oh, oh my gosh. That mana drain from Kuro. Havost had 105 mana after that mana drain. Couldn't get up the Blade 3, which would have secured the kill. Kept him alive and maybe even led to another kill, but a three for nil oh, in the top. And now five to one. That whole time, Arteezy just farming away in the mid. That's a 1,300, no, 1,400 net worth trade already at only six minutes. And they had the lead because Chen was in the jungle already. That's 3,000 golden experience. Well, Secret off to the races here. And even up top, Havost stunned up. Lion only level five, but in comes Zai. They get the kill again on Havost. I, it's just so tough. He comes back to the top lane. Even if they don't get like the, even if he gets off a blade tree, they can chase him down. Brood, full fallen. 70 movement speed inside the web with a huge spiraling army. Mid lane, uh, dream coil onto Arteezy. Funix there, a lot of follow up damage. TP's on the way in. Artor will live for now. Funix wants to find the kill, but the tower chopping him down. They do manage to bring down the Shadow Fiend. Puck gets off that last hit. 
Still a one for one. S4 trying to get aggressive here. And will be forced back. One for one, Secret still finding trades. Even when they take something that isn't completely in their favor, they still get something out of it. And, and again, up top, they're moving into the tier two. Zai's about to pick up his Midas two, so he's just gonna accelerate his level gain and just you know, brute one of those tiers where there's no real big item that you have to get right off the bat. So getting a Midas and just securing your late game farm. With a seven minute job. Midas, he could still have an Orchid like at 15 yeah. minutes if this keeps up. He is crazy farm here. And a boss? Well, he's not the one who's going to be dead. Dendi trying to juke, but gets hexed up. Oh, three hero impale as well. Sick place from Kuro. They kind of walked into that one, but even so, Kuro's still healthy. Funic on the run. Can he actually survive this? Zai trying to chase him down. The finger's there to bring him down. Havos left at the tower, but the Chen army is on its way. Oh, Zai almost finds the kill. If only there was a shockwave. The cooldown was available. That would have been a death. Also, the shockwave hit three heroes on top of the earth spike from Kuroki. This is a oh. disaster for Navi. Dendi had to get that jaunt out, but level one phase shift and didn't have a, only has level one silence as well. So the, like a silence under the line was not going to last very long. Look at this Arteezy. He's got something. That's a Yule's recipe, baby. The spirit bomb is real. He can go any item this game. This oh, is <laughs> he can go, well, exactly. He can go any item, and he chooses the the the, the uh, what, what's the right word here, guys? The trendy, the cheesy, the rage right now. <laughs> yeah. The, Oh, I don't know. It's, I'm hot, excited. it's like the hot new thing. Yeah. <laughs> in middle school, you see all the other cool kids with it. You're like, I want one of those. It is fun to watch the spirit bomb. You see yeah. the setup, and it's just that. Oh, there's nothing you could do about that. Mm. It's very satisfying. Yeah, this is just a hard game for Navi. They they're playing five v four, so it's it's hard, Andrew. Mm. It's a tough life. This this. this <laughs> and what, when, what has Warlock done this game? <laughs> I mean, look at Dendi mid. He's stunned up. Puppy's here. They're just gonna keep the stuns going. An easy dunk for S. Well, top of boss. Maybe he's gonna go down as well. There's another nuke in three seconds. Zai can chase, but yeah, worried about the game one. What has Warlock done? Oh, down bottom. Funnick and Arteezy going blow for blow. Arteezy with the shadow raises. Another kill coming out for Secret. It's just not. It's not even about team fights. It's just little skirmishes around the map. Navi are just losing these one v ones. Yeah, uh, I mean, for the Warlock pick, it didn't work out at all. The 2v2 lane that they had there, Funny did not farm well against the Axe. He hardly found it all. And then all Warlock could do was say, look, you got to go fight. Nightstalker had to leave the lane to go fight, and then Warlock just sat there farming, leaching XP. Well, now he's all for this rock. And, you know, he was leeching XP yeah, to get level did. 6 and then try Sorry. and turn things around, and they're going to get a Lion Kill. Uh, That's something, but it's it feels like very little. Test. Omni slash and a chaotic yeah. offering to get a support lion. Meanwhile, you've got Arteezy farming in the bottom. You've got Axe farming in mid. That's that's a very minor I gain across the, the slew of negatives on the. That's like the, the one left. moment Navi been waiting for. Okay, Warlock's level six. He's got his rock Ooh. now. Let now let's do something. We've then. already passed the one thousand gold per minute mark lead at the ten minute mark. It's a 10,000 net worth lead for Secret. That is ridiculous. Well. Smoke, though, on the S4. He'll get the bounty rune before he dies, at least. Now silenced, and yeah, no way Axe is going to survive this one, despite having a Vanguard. Up top now, Zai, thinking about how making a move on Havos. No, he's out of mana. Okay, thought they were going to square up a little bit. So, all right, Navi actually get a good gank there. They get about a 1,400 net worth trade out of that. So little pickoffs like that will slowly get them back into this game, but now Dendi hex on him, finger onto Van score. Perfectly played by Kuroki. Knew the limits, knew Artor could get the kill on Puck, and they doing it in style there. They ping out Go Black. They want this one, God. Blink forward. There's the stun. Artor sets it up with the Shadow Rage. Good night, sweet Go Black. Ten minute blink on Kuro. This guy is just making plays happen left, right, and center from like the mana drain earlier at the top tier one to that finger plus. E the finger wasn't enough. He got the single right click on the van, knowing that the, the Puck was dead at the same time. Like It's like, okay, Puck's locked down. You've got that kill. I'm going for this other kill. And he just barely takes his hero to the limit to maximize the damage output. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Secret just playing so tight, so crisp. Yeah, they're dominating over Na'Vi, but they're they're doing it without making any really any noticeable mistakes here. This is very impressive play. Yeah. Uh, it's now the Necro book out on Broodmother. Zai ready to end this game sooner rather than later. And they've got even Arteezy's blink is already up. So they're going to have blink on him and the axe in a second. Oh, Arteezy putting a Yule Scepter. Can they bring him down here? They don't have the ultimate from Puck. It's coming up just a couple seconds. He will almost channel the Requiem, but the swap into a silent. Oh, no. He wants to do the double pop. Can't do it. He got the double ult field. That could have gotten, gotten really ugly. But now they get two for nothing. But Zai knocking on the front door up top. Looks like they will be able to rotate over before he does any serious damage. Two for nothing is good, though. Steps in the right direction.
it's a 3,000 gold step in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. it's it's like 3,000 gold, you're, you're still Science really far behind. Warlock still doesn't have any items. That's a crazy thing. Like, you, it's, it's the 2 for nothing trade gets you a 3,000 gold swing, but it, yeah. if you're getting a 3,000 gold swing, it means you're really far behind. It's still really far behind, considering it's 12 minutes in. Now S4, he went Vanguard first, but he's got the Blink Dagger. 12 minutes for Vanguard, Blink, Tranquils, even Axe. Feeling the benefits of all these tower kills. I mean, 12 minutes, there is one outer tower remaining for Navi. It is 5 to 1. Yeah. And that their high ground sieging capabilities when Brood gets Necro 2, Necro 3. They can have easy access to the Roshan pit as well with uh, Shadow Fiend and Brood, Brood Chen. Pretty nice Roshan lineup. All they're really waiting for is maybe the Puppy Mech to give them that Man's big spike score. capability. Wrong place at the wrong time. Walks right into the Brood, but will actually live. Now Omni Slash comes out. They get a solo pick on the Brood. Maybe it was just bait all along. Okay. That was a damage. big spidling boost as well. That was a lot of gold for Dendi. Mm -hmm. Cleans up. That gets getting Dendi about 400 off his Blink Dagger. Okay, Navi showing a sign of life, plateauing the gold lead at about 12,000. <laughs> at 12 minutes in. <laughs> uh, you try not to count Navi out too early, but this nah, is a right. ridiculous lead. You definitely can't count him out, especially if I mean, that was a little. Those last few kills a bit sloppy from Secret, perhaps. I think Zai at this point, like his death like that, it's. It takes three plus heroes or something. It takes at least two two big ultimates to kill him. So he's always just kind of creating space, a death hero there. It's kind of the ice, ice, ice thing where he dies, but he gets a lot of golden XP in the process and, and helps his team take objectives elsewhere. And right now, it's Roshan. Yep. And it looks like it'll go down easy peasy. Nothing Navi can do about it. It'll be Arteezy to grab the Aegis of the Immortal. Secret again. A very clear game plan. Yule's blink on the Shadow Fiend. And Donna just about back up to Max Souls. Navi, smoke rotation, they find Kuro, Dream Coil, Silence, enough to bring him down. Another solo pickoff. They're starting to get quite a few kills here, gods. Unfortunately, Secret is still just farming so effectively, it yeah. basically doesn't matter. Navi getting these kills where it takes three, four heroes and Secret still just spread out working the map, it ends up as kind of a break even in the yeah. end. It's like, yeah, you saw the two for nothing where it's like, oh, 3,000 gold swing as far as that fight went, but the farm, like the gold graph hasn't actually changed that much because yeah. Secret were farming in so many places. And the, <laughs> the recaps only show the, the, the hero, the, kill. The hero yeah. kill gold changes. Yeah, so. exactly. Oh, it's not just about the hero kills here, and that's where Secret are kind of hedging their bets on, on all fronts. Looking at item progression, Zai closing in on a Necro Book level 3. Puppy just about to have the mech. Looks like he's got it coming out on the courier. Yep, Arshi blows. So their items are looking good. That's three Blink Daggers now on their side. Dire-wise, uh, Dendi does have a Blink Dagger now of his own, and Havost starting to find a little bit of farm. Mask of Madness, Yasha. Still not really online, but can at least do a little bit of chopping. Also level 11, so now Omni Slash a little more potent. Yeah, Havos is in a good place. He's, he's done well this game. Considering the, the lane he had and the inability they had of dealing with the Brute all Vank score, surrounded by Spiderlings, he's, yeah, he's going to go into TPR. Nice yeah. Like a skirmish could break out up top, and that's an Omni Slash to bring down the Brood Mother. Now the rest of the fight breaks out. Go Black gets hit by the Spirit Bomb, and they'll trade one for one here in different locations. So good news for Havos. It's a solo pickoff. I'm gonna swing now down, looking to maybe take this last out of tower. It is daytime, and this is n not easy for Funk to stay alive. The Yules could set things up, and here comes S4. Yeah, there's the setup. No ulti, but S4 is there with a call, and this should be a dunk. Yeah, there it is. TP in, and instant orb back from Dendi. He does not want a piece of this axe right now. Yeah, all, all the secret calls in a, a good place, ready to fight. Only the juggernaut keeping up on the Navi side, so. Yeah. Wow, actually very impressive farm on Havos, you're right. Especially given the state of this game. Yeah, uh, he's, he's not getting all the kills. He's got not got a single assist, so when you're getting these big comeback kills, you're getting a big gold boost. But even so, like he, he's so farmed pretty well in lane. Yeah, he's, he's a top CS right now. He's got more CS than anyone, even, even if it's just by a couple. It's still, it's still impressive. Right? You, you, when you, so you don't have map control, you look at their vision right now, they have no outer towers, one ward down. There are not a lot of safe places for Havos to farm. Then you look at Radiant Vision, they've got wards all over the place. They've got one up here, right outside of the base, a lane ward in mid. They're, they're really feeling pretty good in terms of map control. Uh oh here we go, up top, Zai and Havos going to square up and with that, Havos just says, I'm just going to TP out of here. Yeah. I don't want any part of this. 
Brood's a bit scary because if you get the Necrobook out and instant mana burn her boss, if he doesn't have mana for the, the Blade Fury or the TP out, he's he's just done for. So And even the Dire Ancients, they've got a ward on the high ground outside of Roche, a ward outside of the Secret Shop on the high ground. If anybody on Na'vi try to go for the Ancients, it's just it's a trap ready and waiting. And that's where like Puck and Night Stalker are not good farmers to begin with. They can't flash from jungle. They almost just have to kind of rely on kills at this point. So for Na'vi... They need to just hope they can find pickoffs in some pla in anywhere at the ma on the map right now. Maybe looking for another smoke gank soon. They have got the chaotic offering. The go black. Speaking of which, he's put out mid lane. Right? Mid lane. The spirit bomb. One hit KO. Now down bottom. Another fight will break out. The votes. He'll get turned into a little fishy. But Kurogi, nice stun on two TP's coming in, finger on Havos, S4 with the Berserkers call on Vanscore, just taking tower shots. It'll be Havos trying to run for it, they get the kill on Venge, no surprise on that one. Can Havos make it out though? There's a blink on the SF. Keep him though. Whoa, they miss all the spells. Cute little spot there from Havos, it'll actually yeah. ensure his survival. I don't think they realize he Quelling Bladed through, they just thought he was hiding in the tree patch. So really nice little play there. Radiant Top lane though, being pressured, through doing great things. Attack. Yep, force static left. Dendi unable to finish off all those spiderlings. Does a lot of damage. That will be enough to repel good old Zai here on the Broodmother. But even just forcing out the Glyph at this stage in the game is actually pretty important. Now Secret, if they catch an opening, they can look towards the high ground yeah. if they're so inclined and just kind of burst down a structure. Yeah, this is looking this is looking rough. The Aegis is about to expire, I guess, which is the the partially good news, but SF has an Eagle Song and I wonder if this is even like an E Blade type build. I feel like Butterfly is Oak is good, of course. Uh, the evasion's nice, but I feel like you could even with the with all the raise damage that he's doing right now, his his damage output is largely magical. So an E blade could m it's maybe be even better than going for the butterfly. Mm. Is it is it possible to do the spirit bomb thing with an E blade? Can you like no. E blade them in time to do it? No, I don't think so. You, it has to be like instantaneous. The E blade right? is more like for your raises, just and for stuff. the raises, and yeah. also just to help deal with the omni slash as a defensive tool. But you can E, e blade raises. I think it'll be a butterfly, even though they're really far ahead. I mean, it, either item will, you know, yeah. be okay. You can kind of do what he wants, but the butterfly is just, wh what do they have against that? There's no MKB on the horizon, no hex. It makes him pretty damn close to immortal, to be honest. That's a yeah. huge jump in the EHP. Look at the secret just stealing dire ancient stacks. Why not? No, <laughs> What's exactly. going to stop them? Yeah. It's more, again, a comment to Secret. Just they, they control the map so well. They farm their side. You've got Zai in the Dire Jungle. You've got Puppy in the Radiant Jungle. You've got S4 who's just stealing the enemy's Ancients. There's nowhere for Na'vi to farm in this game. Yeah. They, they can't just send one or two heroes to a lane. Well, one hero to a lane to farm. They just, there's so much just pick off potential on the Secret side. Not many of the heroes can deal with Brood. So they're just constantly letting Brood control the entire Dire Jungle plus top lane. When the brute gets close to the tower, that's when Navi's like, okay, let's at least send a few heroes now to clear out the, the, the spiderlings. But when Brute's just in this creep wave up in the top lane, they're worried about Brute having like an axe sing behind with a blink dagger ready. A Kuro, even just Kuro on the line, if he's there with a blink hex impale type type play, mm -hmm. Navi dies. So they can't even move deal with the brute except at the base. Like Brute's not gonna just walk up to this top lane, get a tower and racks anytime soon, unless Navi lose a bad fight, but they can't gank the Brood in any fashion. Yeah, or at least if they do it, it's rolling the dice. They can't do it and, yeah. and have a pretty definitive clean kill. So... Havos Navi. gets an S and Y. He's t tanking up a little. Yeah, Navi just running out of options here. They're going to deward the uh, the cliff here at the top, which is handy, but... Okay, that's... Something, I guess. A little bit of vision control. Right. Secret are actually all grouped up here. They've got four heroes inbound. Arteezy clearing out some Ancients, meanwhile. And coming out on the Courier, it is the Butterfly. So no E-Blade today, guys. Meanwhile up top, yeah, the initiation comes out. Van's going to be the first to go down. S4 showing off that BKB. Chaotic offering flies through. They do get the kill on Lion as Dendi gets very aggressive. Now Omni Slash bouncing around all the Chen creeps. Does next to nothing. And now Havos stunned up by the Centaur army. Locked in place. Can they actually find the kill? The upheaval doing some serious work. Nice play from Go Black, but now Arteezy thinking about a Spirit Bomb type play. Nope, just a Yules. Looks for some Shadow Raises. Still holding on to that Requiem for now. They find Go Black. The Zerker's Call is there. Dunk to find the kill. It will be a two for one. But that's all Secret needs to look towards the high ground. And that Glyph Storm cooldown from Zai pushing Antics earlier. Tier 3 gets melted, and now the Barracks explode. Now Dendi comes in. Waning Rift or back. Funic trying to get Manly here. He's got a BKB. They'll just fight right through it. The right clicks are enough. He's dead.
still a 4v3 on the field. Barracks go down, and now Secret thinking about making Exodus. Or are they? Avos trying to get aggressive, but again, they just man up and throw out the right clicks. S4 still alive, but just barely gets the dunk on Vanscore before they bring him down. Juggernaut ends the streak, gets a little bit of bonus gold. So Navi get a little bit out of this, but you can't even call it a hold here, guys. Just the range racks are standing. No, this is this is not good at all for Navi. Losing their base and getting a, a kill here or there, but Dendi now possibly caught out as well. No. Uh oh, down he goes. Punished for your yeah. Puppy is just so damn good with these centaurs. He's got him in the right place at the right time, and if you're caught without a phase shift, without a blade fury, you better believe he's got some chain stuns coming your way. Yeah, and, and Puck's still just only level 3 phase shift, so he can't use that phase guaranteed play out. Level 13, so. so rough for Dendi. Uh, for, for Secret, they're just... This game's in their hands now. Uh, it, would, it would take... It, it, essentially, it's, it's Secret's game to lose. There's, there's uh -oh. nothing Navi can do. Their base defense, like Night Stalker, is just not a com comeback from behind kind of hero. Juggernaut just is, can't really fight into it. The Chen Creep through Solar just tanks up the whole Omni Slash, so even... Trying to fight it, even if you clear the the main creep wave, these tanky Chen creeps just. I mean, Dying say hello, I'm just not What, 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 what did it do? It didn't yeah, mix and no it damage. Did, it did. It got a centaur to about half health, and then Chen used his hand of guard, and dead. everything he achieved from that was completely mitigated. Yeah. Like your uh, your like axe, if he's in the front lines, has the call as well to boost up his armor to tank it up. So yeah, and that's one of the cool things about Chen against the Juggernaut. If you can split the Omni Slash around all those heroes, the ultimate from Chen literally counters it completely because it spreads the damage around. It's pretty potent. Now S4, Ooh, he's going to be caught out in the jungle, finally uses the BKB, goes in, hits him with a void, throws out the crippling fear, but there's some support inbound. Man scores here, meanwhile on the other side, Spirit Bomb on the go black, not going to be the one hit KO, but Arkeez, he's still doing a lot of damage. They find the kill there, Man score will be in some trouble. Juggernaut does get the kill on Chen, and now maybe they can clean it up. They're going oh, mid rax two? meanwhile, by the way. Oh, God. Dias. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Zai's just in the base. Dendi, he'll TP back. And, oh, maybe we should be talking about S4. He'll get stunned up. Trying to turn it around. No. He's going to go down. But, like you said, it doesn't really matter. In the mid, they give the finger to the puck. Lion finds the kill there. Now they get the melee barracks. Not worth it for Navi. Yeah. Uh, Navi, they have to just throw so much to even find, like, a kill hero there. They, they're getting the axe eventually once his BKB's one off, but... Their base in tatters now. The boss gonna die once more. He has put the buyback, but he'll use it. It's it doesn't matter. Does not seem like it really matters all too much at this point. One lane of barracks still standing. Secret will back out for now. Zai moving into Dagon. The Dagon level two. Right. I like this. This in burst damage at this point, it's you you can just taking her out of the fight, but especially when you're pushing, it's really nice, because you don't even have to kill the target with a Dagon nuke plus spawn spiderlings. It just forces them back to the fountain. They have to go back. They can't defend. Opens up to take that final lane of Rax. And, well, that last Rax is going to be so easy with an Aegis in hand. Mm -hmm. No doubt about it. 27 to 13. Secret still holding on to this 1,000 net worth lead per minute. Yeah, 25,000 threshold here with that Roche kill, I think. And yeah, another Aegis onto Artor. He'll just go into a Satanic, has the HOD now, and recipe already purchased. Just needs a little bit more to grab that Reaver. Yeah, this, this is all over, I gotta say, Andrew. I don't think there's any, uh, any turning this one around. I think not. Even if Secret do something really clowny, dive the base, dive the Firebush, it not really make a difference. They could afford to do it a couple of times. Even now, the Aghanim Scepter up on Puppy. Look at this farm, 25 minutes, Arcane Boots, Mech, and Ags. He's got, he's got plenty of Ancients to choose between as well. He's already heading over, so probably going for the Golem. Although the little Thunder Hides are pretty cute. <laughs> At this point, you can probably just choose based on which is the cutest. Like, ah! Uh, I'm gonna pick you. The just slam movement speed slow is not that bad. Uh, I mean, I don't know. The, the Thunder Hides are a little lackluster. It's but like, it's 270 movement speed. You, you can't even, like, get it in for the all It's just so bloody slow. It's like you yeah. have to burn one of your creeps on the stupid, uh, stupid Cobalt guy that gives you the speed aura just so your creeps move at, like, an okay rate. They're still dreadfully slow, but at least it's somewhat manageable. Well, it's easy now. Butterfly Satanic just I mean, he was pretty invulnerable. Before, but uh -oh. Zai walks into a sentry, but it expires Zai's right as Fun Score swaps. Tank. Just keeps getting worse for Navi. Yeah. All right, down bottom. Is this the final push here, gods? The final fight for Navi? Can they make the whole? Ooh, chaotic offering to get it started. Dendi goes for Arteezy. But what's the follow up here? 
Arteezy may well go down. Remember, he's the Aegis carrier. They're doing everything they can to keep him up. Puppy will use the ultimate. The all heal flies through. S4 now taking a lot of damage as Omni Slash comes out. But Arteezy lives through it with the Yules. A lot of damage, still no kills onto the Dire. Finally, Funic falls. Secret moving closer to the well. Go Black turned into a little fish as Vanscore takes the finger. Now the Earth Spike on the Go Black, a buyback from Axe of all heroes. S4, he's sat watching his team get all the kills. He wants some of the action too. Unfortunately for him, not going to be able to make it back in time. Can't afford the, or does not have the OTs. And uh, that'll be it. GG from Na'Vi as Secret take another dominant win. They've had, yeah, two very one-sided games. Big God as well as Na'Vi, two of the opponents you wouldn't consider like the top top three contenders necessarily coming no. in, but still very... Teams that can always battle it out with the T1 teams. Na'Vi in the past yeah. especially, Big God just based on their lineup and the players who are there, so... Mm -hmm. I, It's still a good start for Secret. They've definitely not had a tough day one like maybe...